Welcome to our review on preventing the spread of communicable diseases. Now, as we hopefully remember from our earlier videos, communicable diseases are the ones that can spread from person to person, animal to animal, etc. And what we're really going to focus on now are how these diseases are spread from one person to another. Now, there's a few really basic things that we can do to prevent them spreading from one person to the next. And the first one is hopefully something you were taught was just basic manners, which is that if you are coughing and sneezing, then cover your mouth and nose because that then keeps it contained rather than exploding it into the air around you, splattering friends, family and everything around you. Your next one, don't touch infected people or objects covered in anything that comes from said infected person. Hopefully you're not going to walk up and start poking people who are ill, but, you know, just in case you were thinking about it, don't. Picture on the right there gives you an idea of why this is important. That's actually an image from one of the Ebola outbreaks in Africa a couple of years ago. And one of the reasons that Ebola spread so rapidly through those communities is because as part of the burial ritual there, the family washed the bodies of the victims, which meant they were coming into contact with the infected blood. So if you've got someone with an infection, don't touch them. If you do have to touch them, use protection. You can see the people in the actual pictures there wearing gloves, masks, aprons, all of this. Obviously, we can also take that in terms of sexually transmitted infections to wear a condom because that's going to stop STI spreading. If you need to use a needle for anything, then don't share them with others. If we're talking about some basic hygiene, doing things like washing your hands, only drinking clean water, cooking food properly so that it's not a bit raw in the middle, and certainly don't be as ridiculous as some of my old students who fancied a day off and decided that they were going to eat some raw bacon because they thought it might make them a little bit sick. They hadn't counted on the fact it was going to make them a lot sick. So don't eat raw meat. And the last one on there is protecting yourself from animal bites. So yes, you may go on holiday and see some cute little monkeys bouncing around the area. Do not put your hands anywhere near them because if the monkey bites you, that monkey may very well be carrying rabies. You do not want to go through the process of having all of the injections to stop you getting rabies after that. So look at them from a distance, take photos, but don't poke the local wildlife. If we now turn our attention to farmers and how they're going to prevent the spread of disease, then the first thing that's going to happen is that the farmer is going to have to identify the disease as being present. When he's done that, then they will need to obviously burn the diseased plant material to avoid it spreading to anywhere else. You can't just cut it down and throw it on a compost heap because it could still spread. If we've got any animals that are obviously carrying a disease or suffering with a disease, then hopefully there will be a treatment option with drugs. Alternatively, there are certain diseases where the only option is to slaughter the entire herd, as we saw with the foot and mouth outbreak a couple of years back now. They will also restrict movement of livestock to prevent the disease spreading from one farm to another and use chemical dips to kill any pathogens on the footwear as people are coming on and off the farm. Hopefully at the end of this video you can now explain how the spread of communicable diseases between animals can be reduced and prevented and you can explain how the spread of communicable diseases between plants can be reduced and prevented.